Hi everyone, Nathan here again with another TrueTech troubleshooting tutorial. Today I'd like to cover required fields and this comes in response to a question I had about somebody wanting to have a image field being required in a lifecycle submit form. So first let's talk about what are required fields or why you would even want one. Required fields are basically fields that before the form can be submitted they must be filled out. So in other words, if we create a text field here on our form and we want this to be something like first name and we want the user to have to fill this out before the form is allowed to be submitted, then we need to make it required. We do that by selecting the item, going to the object tab, and then underneath object, the value subtab. And under this type dropdown, we need to set it to user entered required. And then once we do that, the user is prompted when they submit the form. If it's empty, that the submission will not work until they filled it out. So let's give a demonstration of that. First we need to put an email submit button on the form. And what this email submit button does is it creates a mechanism by which this form can be submitted via email without the user having to save the form. And so in order to create the email submit button, we need to put in some kind of dummy email address and dummy subject. And then uh, depending on how we want it submitted, I normally choose PDF. We would change that right there. And so there's the form. Let's preview it. And under the preview, you see a highlighted field here, first name. Let's turn the highlight off just to give an example. Let's not put anything in the first name field and then try to submit. When we do that, we get this error message. At least one required field was empty. Please fill in the required fields before continuing. All right, so let's try to do that. And now submit. And now we get the expected send email dialog box that you would get if you were an end user trying to fill this out in Acrobat Reader. Okay, so that's that's the basics of a email submit button or a submitted form. Now the question that came up was, how do I make a image field required? And so it would seem all we'd need to do is drag an image field onto the form and go to the object value tab. But notice there isn't such a thing. If we click back onto the first name field, we have this value tab. On the image field, that's not something that's available to us. And so, at least at first glance, you would say, well, image fields cannot be made to be required in a submission. But then, as I investigated uh, underneath the hood here, so to speak, in XML, I noticed one thing. This field is just defined by this little bit of XML. And there's one particular line in there called validate null test equals error. And I knew from other situations that that right there, null test equals error, is the XML way of making a field required. And so it stands to reason that if we just added this little line right here to the image field, in the same place that would make it required as well. And so let's see if that worked. I'm going to remove the first name field to make the test easier to spot. So we have an image field. It's empty. There's nothing there. We try to submit and we get the error. At least one form was empty. So that worked. Let's try it again. This time putting something in, in the image field. We'll go to sample pictures and add the penguins. And now we get the send email dialog like we expect. So that works. So I normally don't recommend people messing around in XML source for the simple fact that it's just too easy to really damage your form. And if you have a big complicated form and you damage one little piece of XML, you may be stuck having to rebuild the whole thing. So how about another workaround? Well, I did notice also a different way to do this. If we go ahead and drag a text field onto the form, 
we initially get this value tab and we can set it to required. And then if you go back to the field tab, you can change the field type to image. When you do that, of course, the orientation of the field is strange and it needs to be reoriented with a top bottom caption. And the size of the, the caption area needs to be redone. But doing this automatically then inserts the validate null test equals error XML code. And so we don't have to screw around inside of XML source. And if we preview then, not add any image, try to submit, and we get the submission error. Add the penguins, try to submit, then we get the send email dialog box like we expect. So that's the basics of working around image fields. And we can assume that basically all other fields are the same way. You can make a signature field required, a checkbox required, a radio button, any of these object fields that have input to them, a drop down, what have you. All of these have the ability to be made into a required field. It was just with the image field we didn't see this value tab where normally you expect to see the ability to change that. And so required fields can become uh, an asset to your form if you have a form that you really want to force the end user into filling out completely before they submit. And if they don't, the submission is unacceptable. Well, this allows you to control that. It's always a best practice, in my view, to limit the user to the options that you want them to have and don't give them options outside of that. That lessens the amount of errors, mistakes, and redundant data and useless submissions that then have to be redone, causing more time and less productivity. So keep the questions coming. Thank you for the question that spurred this. Remember that IT problems are usually simple, but they're never easy. And we hope to see you again soon. Thanks.